identify yourself and uh and you start talking. Yeah, I find my identify yourself and talk a little bit about about the video that we watched earlier. Is that running now? It's running. I'm Roger Simpson, professor of communication at the University of Washington, the dark professor of journalism and trauma. This department, this journalism program, pioneered, along with Michigan State University, the training of journalism students about traumatic stress. As we approached that challenge of trying to figure out how to make classroom work on trauma most effective, we considered several alternatives, but settled on the idea of using actors in the classroom. What we were hoping for was an experience that would transcend anything any of us simply lecturing to the students could provide, and certainly could go far beyond whatever any textbook could, could say about ways to approach students, or pardon me, people with traumatic stress. Um, the textbooks, anyway, do very little on that, and most of us are less than effective in, in really moving somebody into a, a, that experience of understanding emotions and emotional stress and how people are affected by it. So we started using actors in our classrooms, and the um, video that you, you'll be watching uh, was taken one day in a classroom in which our students were confronting several professional actors who presented to the students the real and sometimes very raw emotions of people who had been in a traumatic situation. Uh, the storyline is very simple. The student reporters had gone to an apartment fire in the university neighborhood and they're confronting strangers and trying to find out what's happened, how the fire got started, who these, how people are affected, and so on. The actors are very carefully prepared uh, to present the emotions related to their particular characters, one of which is grief, one of which is anger, others are simply presenting information, there, there's some other uh, identities here right, in which uh, someone is trying to conceal information. The marvel of the actor's role in the classroom is that it moves the students from passive learning to very active, critical response to what's going on around them. And you'll hear at the end of this, uh, of this excerpt, one of the students say that it was suddenly very real. And that's, that's what we've learned from using actors in the classroom. Could you talk a little bit about how this how this ties into your research and where this came from? Sure. Um, we started doing research about the same time, about how people were affected by, by traumatic events. The strange discovery was that no one had ever studied journalists. There were a lot of studies of firefighters and police and medics and so on, military personnel but very, very little research about, about journalists. So back at the, about the same time we started using the actors, we also started trying to find out how journalists were affected by, by their work. And in uh, actually two major studies, we, we found significant amounts of traumatic effect on journalists who had been doing routine newsroom work for several years. Uh, and we also learned that the news industry had done very little to acknowledge that, that experience or to provide help to the journalists who were trying to deal with some of the stresses of, of having done very difficult work. That research has progressed. Others have, have carried on and done more, but we continue to, to be interested in that as a research topic here at the University of Washington. I should be looking at you, shouldn't I, not at, not at the camera. Is, is that enough to yeah. get you started? Uh, yeah. 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 So it talks about the research. We could talk about the book. Let me, let me add just a line about the book. Um, the book Covering Violence, published by Columbia University Press in um, 2006, is, I guess, our best report to date of what we learned in our classroom work and what we accomplished trying to tie 
research in the psychology and psychiatric fields to the work of journalists around the world. Period. I think that's what's happening here today. We're all coming from different places from